Okay, here we are talking with Gordon Half. What are you doing now, Gordon? I'm a cloud evangelist at Red Hat. An evangelist? Yeah. Not just a cloud advocate, but an evangelist. <laughs> yeah, at least that's what my business card says. Okay, for Red Hat now, you were recently in the analyst ranks, which was fun, but now you're on the other side? Well, it was time for a change, and Red Hat was doing a lot of cool stuff in cloud computing, so I sort of wanted to come over to the vendor side and help make things happen. So what's your take on the cloud? Well, the cloud is has been talked about at this conference. It's really about approach to computing. The way I see it is a lot of businesses are excited about. It. They sort of see it as an aspirational point to aim for. They know they will make their IT better. And the cloud is sort of a way to wrap up that making things better, you know, more dynamic, more flexible, faster to bring applications online, all that kind of good stuff. And it gives them a great target to aim for. But I gotta say, you're probably not one of these guys that sees the cloud as the end of IT. No, no. I mean, actually, one of the really interesting things that's happened around the cloud is, as you know, the, the sort of talk of the big switch and the electric utility and all that, and this idea that there would be five computers in the world was really the sort of the tip of the arrow of cloud computing. But what we're seeing is a lot of uh, enterprise, a lot of end user businesses uh, have sort of said, well, yeah, you know, the concepts there are great, but eh, eh, we ain't moving all of our IT out into yes. the cloud. We won't do cloud computing. More opportunistic, overflow, stuff like that, but it's what I keep hearing is that, yeah, we love the cloud concepts and all that, but how do we do it behind our firewall? Yeah, absolutely, and you know, I think absolutely over time, and this is really where standards and portability enter in, which is something that's really near and dear to our hearts, being in the open source business, that people will want to move their computing, move their applications, move their workloads, move their services around between private clouds, outsourced private clouds, public clouds, community clouds, all these sort of relationships between things, but you really need standards and you need the elements of interoperability and portability to do that. It's kind of interesting. Some of the discussions I'm having with some of the cloud providers is that we're talking about enterprise, that it starts to sound a lot more like traditional hosting or outsourcing in negotiated SLAs and contracts and things like that. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, one of the uh, interesting trends that I've been seeing, I think literally in about the last month speaking with people, is this idea of community clouds, which is uh, one of the things in this definition. But basically the idea here is that a group of companies or a group of organizations, say within government, have a set of pretty common requirements in terms of compliance, latency, what have you. So their applications aren't necessarily suitable for just a generic Amazon-type public cloud. On the other hand, they don't all want to build their own private clouds either. So yeah. I'm starting to see interest in this idea of uh, maybe, for instance, the government runs a cloud for a number of the departments within the government. And perhaps or, there's a vendor back behind there as a third party ab that's coming. Absolutely. Okay, or, I can or, see or that. Perhaps in, in the pharma industry, there may be some specific set of requirements around testing and compliance and so forth. And they, they want, might want to share a cloud amongst a number of companies, or smaller companies might well share a cloud, but they can't just go out to Amazon. They have some specific requirements. Makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so how's the show been for you? It's been great. I mean, we're we're sort of over in the side of the uh, yeah. side of the show here because this is uh, VMware's uh, sort of rules and regulations about how what vendors can have what. Uh, but we've had fantastic traffic. Yeah, pretty good traffic from what I've seen. Yeah, absolutely. We're we're very happy. Very good. Well, thanks for spending some time with us. Appreciate it. Talk thanks, to you Dad. soon. Bye bye.